for them. No dig beds. This one is quite a hard one to uh, dig out. Mark is struggling. It's a good fight back from the from the parsnip. Sometimes you have to go to several different, you know, left side, right side, to get the root to move. He's obviously very happy in the ground. Yeah. <coughs> the root, long, yeah. long, deep. Show me the root. Yeah. We've still got more to go, which will be coming out uh, as we need them. These are, like I said, we're taking them home, cleaning them and putting them in the freezer to use as and when we need them. Once you've dug out uh, whatever you're digging out, it's important to start getting the bed ready for the next crop. So Mark's going to level it off for me. And then we're going to add some new compost that we've got here on top. And any soil that has been shown, there is a few little brown bits of soil. It's going to be covered straight away. Uh, and that's that stops the weeds from stops the weeds from germinating because they so you get soil you get weeds. yeah and we don't so like weeding. we don't like weeding no <laughs> and it's very simple the lumps you can see they'll be flattened in a minute but this just is now ready for another crop which I haven't got ready yet but just like I said it's very important to stop the weeds you remember the other one, the, the little handy toolbox Mark made? Well, it comes along with us to the garden every time we come and extremely handy. Mark's always got gloves now, which he never did. So now they're matching a red tray for the parsnips in the red tool toolbox. Mark is still digging out the compost from the wheelbarrow and adding it to this bit of the garden. We grew some sprout plants and what do I do is I cut the head off the sprout and we will eat that at home. I just steam it or make a salad out of it. The roots, the, you're left with the stem which I cut off and this one cut off and then we can fill it up with compost as well. The reason for cutting them off rather than pulling the plant up is that it stops the disruption of the soil by pulling it out you you the soil underneath comes up and the brown soil underneath creates weeds and it's just really to stop the weed growth so that's why they're chopped off sometimes you need the big big uh, clippers rather than these small ones. Sometimes these small ones aren't strong enough and you need a big garden loppers to cut them off. But you then cover these stems with compost so they just regenerate into into the soil. I got myself some compost from the compost seed and I'm now going to cover this little bit here. So you can now see it's all covered, it's covered up the stem, here's one of the stems I just cover it with some compost. You really just need to keep adding a little bit of compost when you've taken one crop out before you, and you add it before you start the next crop. So that's where the parsnips were and that's where the rest of the parsnips are. So. And the parsnips and wash them before we start peeling them. Oh, I'm doing peeling them. After peeling, you can see this bit is quite woody that will just cut out because it will be quite hard. So not hugely tasty.
woody bit that we will chuck out. That's probably most likely the place where the that gets harder and that's where the seed would come from in the second year. I'm going to compost that. A bit of a waste there. Huh? Waste of a big we're going to wash them again. We're going to cut them into chip sizes because we like parsnip chips. Top and tail them. Cut out the end bit. Peel it. Cut it in half, and you can see it's a lot, lot less woody area here. See the smaller ones have less wood. You can use the whole lot of that one. It's like Mark just said, when they're in the ground, you can't actually see how big they are. I thought this was actually a, a patch that had the parsnip looked small, so we moved on to another area. But they're all fairly big. We're going to wash them again. And then I'll steam them for two to three minutes and then parboil them or steam them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put them in the freezer in some bags and they keep for about a year in the freezer like that. I'm just uh, boiling the parsnips for two or three minutes and then I'm going to put them all in bags. We're taking them out of the saucepan where we've boiled them in for two or three minutes. Letting them drain, chopping them slightly smaller and and uh, we're banging them there. I've labelled them with parsnips, the date, and we're still going through. You can see if they're woody. Let's have a look if I can find one. Can you see the sort of a slightly different colour there? And we just cut it out to make sure it's with parsnip. We have not the wooded area. The wooded area is very tough to eat, so not very nice. 